In the late 18th century, Norway was a relatively poor country. The tiny population of Norway lived meager lives, relying on small farms and what they could catch from the sea. The long, dark winters and limited agricultural land made survival challenging. Despite these challenges, Norway managed to survive, but its fate was about to change dramatically. The terrain was rugged, the climate harsh, and economic opportunities were few. Fast forward to the mid-20th century, and you'd find a country still striving to find its place in the world, with a growing merchant fleet but limited resources. Norway, having gained independence from Sweden, was still a relatively poor and uneducated nation. Its economy revolved around shipping raw resources like timber, fish, and minerals. However, Norway had a few factors in its favor. It had built the world's fourth largest merchant fleet, gaining expertise in shipping, trade, and technology. The nation also had a strong parliamentary system, universal suffrage, workers' rights, and robust social reforms. Norway's political power was widely distributed, ensuring a balance of power and checks and balances in decision-making. Then the 60s rolled in, and with them, a seismic shift. Norway struck black gold, oil, in the North Sea. This discovery catapulted Norway from a struggling nation to an oil powerhouse, fundamentally transforming its economy. Norway GDP is expected to reach 587.96 USD billion by the end of 2023, and is now among the richest countries in the world, a testament to its extraordinary economic journey. But how did this transformation happen? Let's delve deeper. Norway wasn't always a prosperous nation. The journey has been filled with challenges and yet, some favorable factors. Picture a harsh natural environment with limited resources. Norway had to contend with challenging topography, a cold climate, and a scarcity of arable land. The country's economy was mainly based on fishing and farming, which were vulnerable to fluctuations in weather and market conditions. But even in these difficult circumstances, Norway had its advantages. Its strategic location and long coastline fostered a strong merchant fleet, which became a key player in international trade. Norway's political system with its emphasis on egalitarianism and social justice also played a major role. The country implemented social reforms that promoted education, healthcare, and social security, laying the groundwork for a robust and resilient society. Moreover, Norway's natural challenges spurred innovation and resilience, qualities that would prove invaluable in the years to come. But it was the discovery of oil that truly changed the game for Norway. The fortunes of Norway took a dramatic turn with the exploration and discovery of vast natural gas reserves in the North Sea. This was no ordinary find, it was a game-changer, setting the stage for a monumental economic transformation. While other oil-rich nations squandered their wealth, Norway charted a different course. The government asserted control over these natural resources ensuring they were not exploited short-sightedly but managed with an eye to the future. This was a unique approach, a stark contrast to the resource curse seen in many oil-rich nations, where wealth leads to economic instability and social strife. Norway instead used its oil profits responsibly, investing in its people and its future. They understood that the oil was not an endless resource, and so, used the profits to build a diverse and sustainable economy. This strategy has been key to Norway's prosperity. The oil wealth, however, was just one part of the story. Norway didn't just rely on oil wealth, it built strong institutions and ensured responsible governance. In 1990, the government made a strategic move to diversify investments and safeguard against economic uncertainties by creating a government pension fund. This wasn't just a rainy day fund, it was a visionary step towards a sustainable future. The fund's structure is fairly straightforward. It's all about long-term investments in international markets, with strict rules to ensure transparency and ethical standards. Its purpose, however, is more than just making money. It's about providing a steady income for future generations, even when the oil runs out. The success story of Norway isn't just about discovering oil. It's about the strategic planning, the establishment of robust institutions, and responsible governance that followed. It's about taking the wealth from the ground and investing it wisely for the benefit of all. But what does this mean for the people of Norway? The oil wealth and strong institutions have been used to provide high-quality healthcare, education, and social safety nets for citizens. This prosperity, however, comes with its own set of challenges. Norway's economic model, while successful, is characterized by high taxes and a significant cost of living. 
Yes, it's a model of wealth and well-being, but it's not without its hurdles. Striking a balance becomes essential. Even with challenges, Norway's story offers many lessons. So, how did Norway, once a poor nation, become so rich? It's no secret. Norway leveraged its natural resources but it's their unique approach, their careful planning, and the development of strong institutions that really made the difference. By maintaining control over their oil wealth and using it responsibly, they transformed their economy. However, it's crucial to recognize that Norway's model might not be directly applicable to other nations. Each country's circumstances and challenges are unique, and what worked for Norway might not work for others. Despite its success, Norway's economy is not without flaws, including high taxes and a high cost of living. Nonetheless, Norway's story serves as a valuable lesson in strategic resource management and responsible governance.